What is going on, guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Link down in the description. You guys know we both preferred influencer. You have two days left, guys. Two days left. Deposit $100. Get four free stocks valued greater than $20. Also, fantastic supplement company and steel supplements. Discount code and link in the description as well. Very proud to be with both of these fantastic companies. And you guys have really been using the referral link for this $20 in stocks. I am now up to four free shares coming of Cladera. And as we've talked about, this to me is a very, very inflated market. It's a market I am not actually actively buying stocks in. I did buy a stock last week. We talked about that with Stag. We'll talk about it in a moment. But if you look at where we are overall, we started with about $125 middle of the year. And through just stocks that you guys have gotten through the referral links and Obviously, just a major influx in stock price with the market pulling forward. We're up to almost $700. Keep in mind, there's about $650 float in the account net value. And I've got $30 balance sitting down there, essentially $27.34. So if you round up a little bit, we're right at $700. The goal was to be at five by the end of the year. And I'll tell you right now, with the election turmoil, it looked like it was never going to happen. But now we've, we've kind of really gotten to a point where I'm cautious about how high the market is. And I think when you look at where we are, any money I'm putting in right now is simply waiting. But as I've told you for a week, I'm waiting. By the time that happens, that 5% dip or crash, pullback, whatever you want to call it, it's going to be where prices were last week. So I'm sending myself mixed messages, but I'm still not comfortable buying at these all-time highs. I'm just not. You look at my positions, everything is in the green. It doesn't make any sense, right? The economy has not fully recovered. We just went through an election. Everything is in the green. And these are stocks that we've bought literally within the past six months. Not only that, you take a look at what I care the most about in this portfolio is the dividends. So we've got about $5 that have came in over the past couple months. We're going to get a little bit more because Kronos just put together a pretty big dividend payment as well. But let's talk about the elephant in the room. One thing I don't like about Weeble, I'm honest with you guys, you can't buy fractional shares in Weeble. And if you want to talk about FOMO, you know, the fear of missing out, there's so much of this with Tesla right now because look at this stock and how this is a week and it is just up. It doesn't make any sense. As someone that has six shares of it, as someone that's been behind it, as someone that agrees with not only the auto, but also the energy side of what Elon Musk is trying to do, this type of movement is unjustifiable. Yes, the S&P 500 inclusion helped, but I want to show you something. Look what it's done to this ETF, because part of me said, you know, I'm going to be smarter than the system here, right? If I can't get fractional shares on Weeble, I'm going to look for cheaper ETFs that hold Tesla. And I tell you right now, I spent a good bit of Thanksgiving day and the day after digging through these companies and finding these ETFs. But what I found was two things. Number one, look at what Tesla has done to this ETF. And it, I think, only had about 12%. They weren't really super weighted with Tesla. Tesla is saving these ETFs and pulling them. And part of me worries is, Will the ETF's mismanagement of Tesla match what ultimately may be my mismanagement? Meaning, A, as someone that promised I was going to sell off a Tesla when it hit $500 and never did, are they going to make the decision that it's time to sell and take profit, which will happen at some point? Or B, am I going to buy into this and then not have a holding in Tesla after I've bought it, and then I really don't have it for the reason I wanted it to begin with? So for those reasons, I do believe I'm going to stay away from the smaller ETFs with a holding of Tesla. But to be fair to you guys, honestly, as much referrals as you've given me, as long as Tesla can float in this $400, $500 range, I very well may likely be able to sell off the free shares and get a stock. I mean, I could do it now if I wanted to. Just to me, it's not... As someone that, again, owns six shares of it, understand when I tell you, to me, it's not worth having all of my portfolio dominated by it. I would much rather prefer to have the dividend payments than the share of Tesla that may go on a great run or I may have bought it at a great price. It's hard for me to buy it now at $550, $600 when I bought it for $311 not too long ago. I bought and sold it, and I wish I'd never done this. You know, I bought and sold... 
probably five or six times. If I'd held all those times and not taken profit, I would have been in a lot better shape. But, you know, you kind of have to mitigate your own risk. You know, at that time, my portfolio was so small, and I've told you guys this story before, I would wake up and I would live on my phone and I did not have the stomach to watch Tesla just wreck my portfolio. The day Elon Musk had that window issue on the SUV, you know, my portfolio is dropping like crazy, right? And I just mentally was not strong enough to deal with seeing my money rapidly move like that. So... To me, wasn't something I was interested in, but now, I mean, as you can see, just by its price increases, it's taken over a lot of my portfolio. So I'm not interested in holding it in more than one place. It's just not something that I feel like is healthy in a small account, unless you have the right mindset. If you do, good for you, but I don't. To me, especially with the holidays coming up, just to kind of drag this, and it doesn't, I don't even put like, commercials or, or ads in these longer videos, just to talk to you guys a little bit about my thought process on dividends. I, I look at dividends almost as like taking holiday money, right? Taking $100 or $200 you may get for the holidays, investing it, and then having that paid to you the rest of the year, right? Sure, you know, you're happy to have that initial, you know, influx of cash, where you get that $100 or you get that $250, but do you really buy something meaningful with it at the time? No, you probably buy something you just want to have it, to keep it, something arbitrary. But what if you could take that $100, put it into an investment, and get paid every month? Would you rather do that, or would you rather just have the initial joy of that $100 spent? To me, I really used to be the one that had the joy of the $100 spent. I would love to just go out and just spend money, right? Burn a hole in my pocket, go out and spend it, enjoy the money. But then I realized that I get so much more enjoyment by having those dividend payments every single month where you can slowly make it to the point every month companies pay you just to hold their stock. And every month you kind of get a little bit of that feeling of, hey, I'm getting paid, right? That $100 I invested got me paid $5 in a month and a half. Is it going to recover the pure $100 that I put in? Not right now, but over the course of a year, two years, three years, absolutely will. And that's the goal. Not losing money, making money. And that's what I try to do with you guys. It's what I've done successfully for myself over the past two years in terms of getting myself into a position, thanks to your support, 100%, where I'm taking working years off my life. I'm building years of retirement as we speak every day. Every day, this portfolio is building me retirement years. It's literally putting money in the bank where I can enjoy my life more later than I can today because I'll be working less and more stable. That mindset took me a very long time to master, but I will tell you 100% that mindset is much greater then I need to go spend $200 on a pair of shoes or a jacket or an accessory. And if I had learned that lesson sooner in my life, I probably would be to a point where I don't have to work now. So that's a lot of trials and tribulations that I just told you, that I went through, that you don't have to go through. Don't make the same mistakes I did. That's what a lot of this investing video concept started with. Don't make the same mistakes I did because I've made some really stupid and costly mistakes. I've made mistakes that I wish I could take back and I can't, but I can share the experience with you and teach someone to not do what I've done and make better decisions with their money, make better decisions with their finances and put themselves in a position where they can sleep just a little bit better at night because they know next month they've got extra money coming in whether they need it or not. Anyway, love to know you guys' thoughts on this. Appreciate you checking it out. Two more days left on that Weeble $21 of stock. Guaranteed if you deposit more than $100. I don't know they're going to have a better promotion than that ever again. I don't even know, honestly, how they can do that. With that said, you guys know I appreciate you watching this video, and I will be back in the week with more commentary.